All right, so the first thing we gotta do is rig this tree because it's leaning this way to the house and pull and I want it to fall into there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go up the tree a ways and put this strap on it. I believe this is high enough. This is the first time I'm using the uh, the head rig for the GoPro, so I've got it on super view, so hopefully I'm catching all this. Guess we'll find out. So now back down. All right, I guess I don't need that other strap then. So I'm just gonna go to this strap with the, with the come along and then I guess I really need to hook this the other damn direction so I can have something to pull on to get the cable out. And you've got to hold both of these buttons. All right, that's all the cable so now get my chain to use for an anchor point I'd really like to go over to the neighbor's tree but this one's gonna have to do get it low on this tree So there's our anchor point. All right, let's see what kind of job I've done there, straightening her out. Yeah, she pulled her up pretty good, actually. Now I've got to go get my chainsaw. off this tree so I can cut my wedge out. I hope you're seeing how to to work a come along here. You've got a tooth here that holds in over here and a tooth here that holds in over here. 
and to release it you hold that up slightly and then you're able to push it down and it'll release just one tooth at a time which is quite necessary when you've got a, the tension of a tree loaded up onto something so there you go now i got the tension off now i'm going to cut my wedge out of here and i should probably put a damn fresh blade on this saw but <laughs> about halfway through the tree for your notch cut all right and now we'll go ahead and uh, put tension back on the tree and then when we come here to do our back cut we'll come about two inches above our notch cut and that'll give us a good hinge point and this tree should go where we want it to go within reason that's probably enough tension this tree it's lean it's i'm pulling it that way so it's gonna with the weight that way it's gonna want to kind of try and go toward the pool but we're wanting to minimize that as much as possible super careful when you got that much tension on the tree guy so I'm kind of backing off reassessing the situation and my damn cut walked upwards on me of course I'll go a little bit more with this saw <laughs> Now what I'm going to do is go put more tension on it because I think it's going to go I think it's going to go Oh yeah, here she comes Let's get out of the way She's gonna hold up in that tree. Which is fine. Alright. Let me go ahead and unhook that. Set that come along out of the way. And then I'm just gonna use myself oh man I'm hung up on that damn branch too but it should come down what I'm gonna do is uh, drop this cedar that I anchored on first
tight quarters to be working in, a little less than ideal. But you could see how that, you could see how that hinged on that live portion of that tree. Now I believe this one will come down a little bit better. May have to hook to come along back to it. I don't really want to pull it down onto myself. That's a little stupid. I can move my anchor point over to there. <laughs> And then I'm going to hook my chain to my strap because I don't want to be ratcheting the come along right underneath of the tree that I'm trying to get to come down. can do is hook that like that and then I can put my chain on here and then bring my other cable out to this side of the tree Put that on there. Now we can go ahead and pull it out of that other branch. There she comes. Beauty. And this cedar will fall that way and so i'm done with the rigging so i can get all my rigging and put it away mm -hmm. 